Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to use Storage Sense on your Windows 10 computer to help automatically clean up temporary files that are just taking up space or items in your recycling bin. So this is a newer feature and newer build of Windows 10, so I did want to just highlight this feature in today's tutorial. And without further ado, let's jump right into it. So we're going to begin by opening up the Start menu, just by left clicking on it one time. And either we're on the left or on the little gear icon on the left side here where you hover over it, it says settings or type in settings into the star menu, whichever you prefer. Now you want to go underneath the system tile. And now navigating over on the left side, you want to go underneath storage. So left click on storage. So there's something that says storage sense if you notice over on the right. Windows can automatically free up space by getting rid of files you don't need, like temporary files and content in your recycling bin. This is essentially disk cleanup but it will run automatically. And you also have the ability to free up space now, so if you left click on that, it should open up a disk cleanup utility. So it looks a little different than maybe we have seen in previous versions of Windows, but you can see it's removing temporary files as well. And it just looks a little different, so it's definitely kind of interesting how they lay it out. Same idea though as in previous versions of Windows. So while this is running, if we clicked on the little back arrow, you can see that we can still turn this on. So if you want to automatically clear it up every once in a while, you can just change it by toggling this to the on position. And if you left click on change how we free up space automatically, so if you actually selected that, you'll see what it'll do. So if you turn storage sense on, it'll run automatically when you're low on disk space. Uh, temporary files will be cleared for apps you're not using within 30 days. Well, you'll delete temporary files you're not using and any files that are older than 30 days in the recycling bin will be removed and currently by default it says not to remove download folder items that's actually kind of smart that they do include that because I noticed that some people's download folders have so much stuff that's occupying them that it really can fill up a hard drive pretty quick and you can also free up the space if you have a previous version of Windows on here as well so if you don't feel like rolling back to the previous version of Windows or you don't think you'll need to you could also delete the previous version of the Windows OS that is installed or was installed on your computer. So pretty straightforward. So I do hope this brief tutorial was able to open you guys up to something new here. And as always, thank you for watching and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.